So Ben Shapiro went on Rave Dubin show yet again. And um, Ben keeps telling Rave Dubin to fuck off with his gay party invites. <laughs> so this is, this is hilarious for so many reasons. And it's stupid for so many reasons. But I enjoy it. Let's take a look and then we'll discuss. Can I make a bold prediction? Sure. 30 years from now, we're going to be sitting here doing this, hopefully in a mm -hmm. bigger garage. <laughs> um, in Texas, and, probably. And yeah. you <laughs> may well have moved me on the, uh, on the abortion issue, and I think I may have moved you on coming to an anniversary party. What, what do you think about that? I think there's a possibility. I mean, I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to think about that. Again, the, the issue... As you know, you know, not to get back yeah, into yeah, well-trod yeah. territory. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it would be unlikely that you'd move me, but I, I can never rule out the possibility of being moved on anything. Obviously, um, and again, this is this comes back down to, you know, the difference between approving of activity and approving of, of human beings. And they, you know, I wouldn't if you invited me to a party on on Friday night. I also wouldn't go, right? I mean, like, so, it's just not so something definitely I do. not a Shabbat. Uh, uh, a Shabbat party. anniversary, is, I think, probably is out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a Sunday afternoon, uh, a Sunday afternoon gay-ish anniversary, Doesn't, like, or or maybe just how about like you just a, have like a freaking barbecue, dude? Do, do, like, yeah, does well, everything well, have well, to be? No, but the, the party's not going to be gay. It's just yeah, we'll have a barbecue. Okay, It'll just be a barbecue. It, Nothing right. gay is going to happen there. When I, I wasn't worried it was going to turn into an orgy back there or something. Like, I wasn't worried you were going to bring out the village people. Do you know that gay people have parties just the same? Well, wait, what? What? No, that's crazy. Yeah. No, I was, no, I was, I was pretty well aware of that. In yeah. fact, and in fact, a, as I've said a thousand times, yeah. happy to go out to dinner. My wife, your husband, happy to go out to dinner, and and do any of that stuff as long as it's not like you know, rah rah. Here's the thing you think is sinful. Join me in celebrating it. Like that's, but again, that appeals. That applies to a wide variety of sins. That it, I mean, listen, it's harder on it's harder on members of my family than anybody else. Like I've said before, I wouldn't attend an intermarriage. Right, like a Jew marries an Andre, I want to attend an intermarriage. Yeah. So th this is exactly the same issue. Bro, he's actually against you as a person, Dave. I know Dave is trying to make it all okay. Dave is trying to make his new posture as me. I'm the last liberal left. That's me. I'm a classical liberal. Um, but this is like the second or third time this happened where... Ben Shapiro has uh, sat down with Rave Dubin, and Rave Dubin is like, okay, are, will you be my friend? <laughs> like, would you come to a party with me and my husband if it's for an anniversary? Or And Ben, the first time, and maybe, I don't know, was this two or three times this happened now? But the last clip I saw from the last time this happened, Ben was basically like, <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go. And you could tell Rave Dubin is surprised by that. He's like, w w what? I I don't get it. Yeah, dude, he doesn't fucking agree. He thinks your your existence is sinful. He thinks that you should be able to overcome the temptation of your basic sex drive. And his reasoning was the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. He goes, well, uh, I mean, listen, it's okay. I'm not just a bigot against gay people. I'm also a bigot against non-Jews. Oh, Ben, <laughs> that's not the convincing response you think it is. He's like, I, would, I wouldn't attend an intermarriage either. I mean, I wouldn't attend an intermarriage. I mean, fuck non-Jews too, right? Fuck gay people and fuck non-Jews, right? I was like, me? Being a bigot? I mean, it's okay because I'm also a, an even bigger bigot in this area too. And listen, I'm not, because a lot of Ben Shapiro fans will hear what I'm saying now and they'll be triggered and be like, ah, how could you call him a bigot? But it's like, I'm not, I'm not offended by what he's saying. I'm just saying it's really stupid. Like, what he's saying is incredibly dumb. Like, that is so dumb. You, but you have to actually believe, like, gayness is basically on the moral equivalent of something like murder to not want to celebrate in the gayness. You know what I mean? To not want to go to, like, a gay anniversary party. Because if you ask me, like, you know, somebody is a fucking serial killer and he's out of prison and, hey, you want to go to his birthday or something? I'd be like, no, nah, kind of fuck that guy. Fuck him. I don't like him. Why? Because that's actually something that's sinful in his language. In my mind, it's just immoral or unethical. Um, so I would have a moral objection. No, I'm not going to sell it. That guy's an asshole. Fuck him. 
I'm not going there. He murdered eight people, including women and children. I'm not going to fucking go in his party. But see, that's the thing, is that in Ben Shapiro's mind, Rave Dubin's existence and, and, and the way he lives his life, his sexuality, that is a sin. That, that is immoral. That is unethical. That is the equivalent of going to the birthday party of a dude who murdered eight people. And my whole point here is to say, well, that's just incredibly stupid. Like, if you believe that, you have flimsy reasoning to believe that. And it's unquestionably backed by ancient Bronze Age religious texts that are wrong in so many other ways as well, where they say, hey, it's an abomination in the eyes of God if you wear a mix of two different fabrics. It's an abomination in the eyes of God if you eat shellfish. In the Bible, there are seven-headed dragons. That's in the Old Testament. That's, you know, he believes in the Old Testament. He believes in the Torah. Um, you know, they talk about uh, how they allude to the earth being flat. They talk about sailing to the four corners of the earth. I mean, in the Bible, there are instances of a, a father having sex with his daughters. I think that's the story of Lot. There's, like, there's so much fucked up stuff. And he goes to this document and he goes, I'm going to base my uh, current morality off of this. And it brings you to such a ridiculous place that you're looking in the eyes, somebody who's supposed to be your friend, and you're telling your friend, like, no, I, c I can't go to your gay celebration because it's immoral. It's wrong. It's sinful. It's wrong. Or it's not at all sinful, and the whole basis of your garbage moral system, which is more like a non-moral or immoral system, is off base. This is the same guy. He's like, he's supposed to be, we're supposed to look at this as like, oh, he's so principled and he's standing by his ideology. This is the same guy who went after Bernie Sanders because Bernie Sanders said it's a right to get health care and somebody had to pay an arm and a leg to just get medicine to live. And he responded to that by saying, oh, wow, I go to the furniture store to get furniture and it's too expensive. How crazy is that? He's comparing healthcare to fucking buying a furniture. This guy is going to be some sort of moral arbiter? No, his priorities are insanely fucked up. His priorities are insanely dumb. He supported the Iraq war, an illegal offensive war against a country that didn't attack us. And he's going to morally judge somebody for being gay? I mean, that's the equivalent of like, hey, what, do, you, uh, do you like chocolate or do you like vanilla? I like chocolate. Oh, yeah, well, I like vanilla. Huh. How, how dare you? That's what that is. Who cares? He So what? He doesn't want to procreate. Who the fuck cares? whoop de frickin do There's no moral dimension to that. There's no evil or, or sinful activity to that. You know what's wrong? Fucking murder, rape, violent assault, things like that. That's wrong. That's incorrect. But Ben Shapiro, oh, looking the person, somebody who's supposed to be his friend in the eye. No, no. I mean, I couldn't celebrate, you know, your marriage. Because, you know, I'm quite literally bigoted against gay people. But it's okay. I also hate non-Jews, too. I wouldn't go to an intermarriage. So, in other words, you are not equal. You're not. By definition, you're not. If, if he's equal, what's equal? Well, I'd celebrate a, a marriage between a man and a woman. I'd go to that. So, what's the equivalent of that? What is equal to that? Sure, I'll go to the gay, gay marriage celebration. Who cares? You're equal. What he's saying to you, Dave, is you are not equal. That's what he's saying. So your whole little fucking intellectual dark, dark web tap dance, it, it's all for naught. It's all for nothing. These people are what you originally thought they were back when you fucking had a functioning brain. <laughs> okay? That, and again, the point is not like, oh, what are you on the left? You're so triggered. It's not that I'm triggered. It's that Ben Shapiro's a fucking idiot. Like, that, that ideology is dumb. That ideology is wrong. That ideology is based on nothing but fucking Bronze Age books back when these assholes didn't even know what science was. And he's going to look to this book for his morality? For his modern view on what makes sense? No, it'll lead you in the wrong direction, time and time and time again. And let's not overlook the, the thing he said about non-Jews, too. Think about that. I don't know how anybody... I mean, he's saying it to you. Like, no, I don't think you're equal if you're a non-Jew. If you're a non-Jew and you're going to marry a Jewish woman, I wouldn't go to that. I wouldn't go to an intermarriage because you're not equal. If you were equal, I'd go to the marriage. You're not equal. You're not equal. That's sinful. Your existence is sinful. You marrying a Jewish woman is sinful. So, okay. We know where you stand. <laughs> we know exactly where you stand. You're on team. My tribe is superior. And I will act in accordance with that. I do not view you as, you're an, as if you're an equal if you're gay or if you're a non-Jew. Thank you, Ben.
Thank you for, you know, making clear your contempt for the overwhelming majority of the country. Now, if you're somebody who's been a Ben Shapiro fan to this point, okay, at least now you know what, is, what the reality of his beliefs are. If you think, hey, that's kind of a little fucked up, but more importantly, that's just really fucking stupid, well, you have other options on the menu.